Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the new Omi AI necklace. This is the device right here. You can see it's very small. Uh, it actually opens up and so you can see right inside. Uh, there, there it is, there's the insides. Uh, I don't recommend opening it unless you need to, uh, unless you're just curious. Um, now, uh, obviously this is meant to be uh, a sort of always on AI necklace. So I'm gonna show you, it's actually quite easy now. If you wanna turn it off for privacy reasons, just push the button, boom, it's off, completely off. Uh, now, when you plug it back into the charger, it should light back up, uh, push the button and it comes back on. Um, now, uh, getting it connected to your computer is as easy as, uh, or your phone is actually quite easy. So I'll show you right now, I'm actually using the new Mac OS app, which just came out. Uh, and so you can actually see the live transcript as I'm talking, everything that I just said is right here on the screen. Um, I can also train it on my voice right here. So I can uh, train it to recognize my voice as well as train it to recognize my girlfriend or anyone else on here. Um, so you can train it on different voices. Um, also, you can see uh, if you're a developer, you might wanna go to developer mode and you can start sending all your data out to whatever server you want. So if you wanna get your data out, uh, it's a completely open source project. You can go and change the code and make your own app or you can just send the data right to your server. Um, now, the size of this uh, hardware is really impressive. Uh, you can compare it to the original Omi AI necklace dev kit. So this is the dev kit, 3D printed. You can actually make your own dev kit at home. Um, and it's a really cool, nice piece of hardware. Um, and you can see it lights up. It has the same uh, LED colors when you connect to it. Um, and it has a little tiny microphone hole here. Um, and the dev kit too actually adds an SD card. So it works when you're not connected to your phone. Um, and then the same works on the new Omi device. Um, I'm putting my Apple AirPods here just so you can see a size comparison. Uh, it's quite small. So uh, that's, that's, a, that's a huge benefit to this. Um, and it, the battery lasts for days. So it's really, really a great little uh, beautiful piece of product. A lot of people have commented on it. Uh, if you flip it over and you wear it backwards, you just see these nice gold rings. Those are the charging rings. And it comes with this little charging port. Now, um, now I wanna show you some of the features in the app here. So I'm gonna zoom in on the app a little bit more. Um, so you can see here, I can see uh, redacting a, a, a topic like, hey, how do we hand, what do we do with our transcripts? Uh, you can actually see this is my team and I organizing a crypto summit coming up in June. Uh, so you can see all the decisions made, the action items, the key takeaways, the questions raised and the participants. Uh, so it got everyone's name uh, pretty much correctly. And I can go back and I can also search across this. So I could search for uh, events or decisions made. Um, also, I can go in here um, and I can uh, change uh, my uh, what, what I want to chat with on here. So I can say, I wanna summarize this uh, with couples therapy. So if I have a conversation with my girlfriend, I could use the couples therapy app to actually summarize it differently. Um, also on the bottom bar, I have chat. Um, so I can actually chat with my memories. And so this makes it more than just a, uh, a book of my memories, but rather a searchable brain that I can ask. So I'm giving that chat GPT intelligence to my uh, database of all of my knowledge and all my conversations. Um, and I can see the key points from the crypto summit right here. So chat GPT is actually summarizing that uh, differently than the uh, built-in uh, summarizer. Uh, and I can also see that chat GPT is actually pulling data from multiple conversations. And that's really important because uh, you might want to have multiple conversations around the same topic. And so now you could use uh, any AI, not just ChatGPT, but you can build your own app uh, and use that to analyze all of your conversations. Um, so uh, like right here, there's the built-in Omi app. Uh, you know, it's a nice polite, it says, uh, you know, it's having a nice day. I, I can chat with Omi and say, hey, Omi, how's your day? How's your day going? Uh, and I can, and Omi will respond with with its personality. Now you could go and create your own personality. Uh, in fact, you can actually clone yourself with this. So I'll show you how you can do that. What it's doing is it's doing more than just storing your conversations. It's actually creating a database of memories. So every fact about me is being collected into this memories where I then have full control over whether I want it to be private or public. And I can also delete those. So I can go in and I can swipe right and delete that. So I, you know, it's like, uh, let's say, uh, you know, 
this, this one is about someone else. So I'm just going to delete this fact about my friend Jordan. Um, and you know, you can see all these other facts. These are all correct. Um, you know, uh, I'm considering cre creating an app to help with screen addiction. You know, I you know I'm talking about uh, a, an avocado themed event. So you can see all these memories, and you can also search this memory database, which is really useful to be able to search your memories and then come back and uh, delete them or share them. Now, of course, my favorite feature of Omi is actually the action items. So I, you know, can't keep track of all the things I need to do. Um, and so uh, it's sometimes my nickname is Colo. So you can see Colo to draft and circulate the summit agenda um, as well. Uh, I can I can see here that I need to add outreach and status columns uh, and go through photos and decide what to post. Um, and maybe take a picture of my new credit card both sides to send to the other party. Uh, this seems like it's an urgent to do. I'm gonna check that off, uh, boom, it's gone. Um, now, of course, you might want to build your own app on top of this, or you might wanna look for other cool features that others have already built. So you can go to the Explore page and you can see there's connection for Zapier, there's a connection for Google Drive, Google Calendar lets you automatically add things to your calendar. Uh, you have an ADHD helper, which helps you break down tasks into micro to-do lists. Uh, we even have a lie detector that can analyze conversations and tell you if someone might be uh, trying to deceive you. Um, there's a cognitive bias detector um, and you can scroll down and actually you start to see that there's identities in here like Albert Einstein and Machiavelli. So what you can actually do is you can create your own uh, person inside of Omi and you can create your own app. So if you go create an app, this is uh, mainly for developers, but you can, if you're not a developer, you can also build your own app just by typing in a prompt. So you can go build your own app and publish it to the app store uh, within Omi. Very cool to be able to do that, but also you, you can very easily create your digital clone right here. So I can go here, I find I connected my Omi, I've connected my Twitter, and now I've had this public link that I can share, um, and I can go to that website. Uh, I'll copy that, you know, I'll just copy that link um send that to uh send that to someone else and i can go chat with my persona now um i also want to uh, show you where you can find out more information um so you can go and buy your own omi on the website uh just go to omi.me um i'll i'll give you guys a quick run through the website and where you can find more information um so go right here and go to omi.me. And on this website, you'll see you can go and you can pre-order the new uh, Omi uh, is now shipping. So uh, they, they just shipped the first 200 of them. Uh, you can also get the developer kit. Um, if you scroll down, you see we actually have two developer kits. The uh, the developer kit that you see here on, the on, on my video, as well as the Omi Glass dev kit. So you can find out more about these on our Twitter. You can uh, go to the Twitter page and you can actually see some awesome videos from Nick, the founder, uh, talking about what we're doing and that we're hiring. So we just launched the Mac OS app. So this was one of the first demos of it. Um, another good resource is to join the Discord if you want to chat with the team. Um, and if you're a developer, I highly recommend to go to our GitHub where you can find out more information and dive right into uh, building uh, building projects on top of Omi. So we actually are paying developers to build bounties. So we're looking for people to build new things um, as well as you can apply for jobs at Omi. So we have uh, three different jobs that are open right now. We're looking for engineers, growth marketers, uh, people who are influencers, as well as co-founders. You know, if you want to join in and really put put it all your all into this company, uh, reach out to us. Us, we'd love to chat with you. Um, of course, the app is now available on Mac OS, Windows, Android, and iOS, which is pretty awesome to say uh, that we are now live and shipping this product. Um, and you can take a look at it here. Um, it comes with a little uh, uh, plastic uh, protector that uh, sits on your necklace, um, and you can connect it to any necklace, uh, and you can buy, uh, and it, you know, we can get those in different colors as well. Um, so if, again, if you want to get any, if, if you're worried about privacy or you just, or you're talking to someone and they say, I don't want to be recorded, um, you can very easily just push the button and it turns off. It's that simple and privacy is enabled. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.